Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Code Studio. In this series we will learn how to create a COVID-19 tracker app. So, these are the packages that we will be using in our app. First is geolocator which is used for getting the location of our device. Second is FL chart. Well, this is the package which we will be using for creating different type of charts like pie chart, bar chart to show your data in graph wise. Third is HTTP. Well, this package is help you to create a network re request and to fetch and display that data. For this alpha to countries, well, this package will help you to get a country specific code according to their name. And last is Flutter Spin Kit. Well, this is as you can say an alternative for a circular spin loader or circular progress loader. So, these are the images of our app. As you can see, this will be our first screen, which is having a title Corona Tracker. And in our first screen, and in our first screen, we will be fetching the data of global wise, like overall how many total number of sick persons are there in the world, and according to that, total number of recovered patients and total number of dead patients. And we will be showing this data in FL chart package, which is having a pie chart. Now, as you can see here, we are having a button. So, when you will click on this button, we will specifically show the state data of India. So, here as you can see, in our app bar, we are having the country name India. And in our list view, we are having the data of all the states in India. And each state is having their specific data beside them. Like, as you can see here, we are having the state Maharashtra. Beneath that, we are having confirmed cases. And beside them, we are having total active cases in the state, total deaths in that state, and total number of recover patients in that state. This is all a real-time live data. So, let me show you the demo of this app. I forgot you to tell that when you click on a specific state, their district data will also be displayed in a different screen. As you can see, so, in this project, we will learn how to use different dependencies and how to import these packages and how to use these widgets in our application. Now, in our next video, before getting started with creating our app UIs, first we will learn about the most important Dart features of Flutter. That is, the use of future keyword, use of async programming and we will also look at the use of some important packages that we are going to use in our app. So, see you in the next video.